And hello, I'm Bonic Vapor, and I'm coming to you today again with another Kappamon tutorial. People have asked, hey, Bionic, how do I get my Kappamon to respond, dance, or say something when I get a new follow during my stream? Well, I have a workaround just for you. Stay tuned. Okay, um, so what you're going to need is first you're going to need to do two things to get your Kappamon to alert when you have a follow. So there's a workaround since Kappamon doesn't quite do this quite yet. I see it coming in the future because the fact that it will shout out hosts. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the Kappamon to do something every time we get a follow. So a workaround is to use a chat bot. I use Streamlabs Elements. You can do it with pretty much any bot. Uh, just make sure your bot is listed as a mod. Make it a mod in your chat. Um, and you'll find this out here in a second. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to go into Modules. And by the way, Streamlabs Elements is great to use. Um, for chat alerts, that kind of stuff. So make sure, first off, if you're using Stream Out Element, have it enabled. We're going to go to settings and right here, boom, following, followers. That's what we're looking for. Make sure you have that enabled and you can put pretty much any message you want in here. As you see here, I have thank you for following user, let your freak flag fly. But you can pretty much put anything. You can put, uh, uh, let's see here, let's uh, party. All right. So we can change it to anything we want. Thank you for following. Let's party. All right. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this now. Boom. Now we're done with that. We're going to close that or minimize that. Now we're going to go into our Kappamon. Make sure you're logged in. And where we're going to go is we're going to go to commands. So we're going to add a new command. So that way now Kappamon. And what we're looking for is we'll open Streamlabs elements back up again. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a specific word to trigger the Kappamon. Uh, now, I use the word trigger, but that's not what we're going to do. It's actually a keyword. So the keyword we're looking for is following. So we can close that. And we are going to put in following. No, you don't need to put any exclamation or anything like that because um, it's just a keyword. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a uh, message in there. We'll say... Uh, Thanks for the follow. Boom. Exclamation point. Um, you can get witty with it. You can get real creative. But uh, for this tutorial, we're just going to keep it pretty much vanilla. So we're going to say, thanks for the follow. Exclamation point. Now we're going to come down here. We're going to change the animation to dance. I've had a lot of people, because that's what they're saying. Either in Discord or here on my YouTube channel, they have been asking, how do I make my Kappamon dance uh, when I get a new follow? So if you just want them to dance and you don't want them to say anything, you can just leave that blank, the message blank. But I think, you know, why not? We should have the Kappamon say something. So we're going to change the type from trigger to keyword. Duration is how long the Kappamon will do this for. We're going to go five seconds. Five seconds is usually pretty good. And cool down, I usually go anywhere between eight seconds to ten seconds on that. Obviously, you'll need to drop that down if you're getting follow after follow after follow after follow. Uh, you don't want the cooldown to be uh, as high. Um, but at the same time, um, if you're getting that many follows in a row, hit me up. <laughs> Throw me a host. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay, now we're going to hit save. Now, the reason why I said make your bot a mod in your channel is because now we can go in, we can edit, which we could have done this um, while we were setting it up. But instead of having everyone, so that means anyone can put in following and it will trigger your Kappamon to do this. But for the test, we're going to leave it as everyone, but you're going to want to switch it over to mods. So that way, any mod will hit following or type that word into the chat. Only they can trigger the Kappamon then to do what you want it to do. But for right now, for the test, we're just going to hit everyone. Okay, so... For this tutorial, I am using Streamlabs OBS, but you can use this in OBS Studio and OBS Classic, and it'll work the same way. As you see here, here's our Kappamon over here in the corner, just sitting here hanging out, ready to work. Now, what usually they recommend, and this is what I also recommend doing, is going, click on your Kappamon. Left, just left click on them right in here. 
says Capamon. And then we're going to go to properties. We're going to open that up. We are going to scroll down and we're going to hit refresh cache of current page. What this does is any updates we have done, it will now update it here in our OBS. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and test it. We are just going to type in here. Uh, I don't know if I, oh shoot, I might have to open up my page. Well, hang on, we can do that. Not a problem. So we're going to go to twitch.tv and we're going to go into my channel and it's probably hosting K Doctor. So we're going to go ahead and mute him for a second. And now we are going to type following, hit enter, minimize that. And now he is dancing and he says, thank you for the follow. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen as well. So you can, uh, see that. that's why I always recommend having multiple monitors when you stream. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing off screen. Type in following into the chat. Boom. And there he is. Thanks for the follow. And he's doing a little dance. That's how you pretty much do it. See, I uh, literally had a squirrel running around on a wheel. And uh, yeah, so there wasn't too many games that I could stream back then. And I had to wait for upgrades. <laughs> I played Dead Frontier since 2008. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. And okay, then. Hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, I'd like to know what you will do with your Capamon when you get a follower. So, leave those also in the comments below. Also, don't forget to click that like, click that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and by all means, share this video with friends and family members. Until then, I'm Bonic Vapor.